we're going to continue to study the magnetic actuator. The magnetic actuator, uh, uh, the detail, the detail you can just refer to my uh, teaching note or teaching material. The, we'll only discuss the final result. The final result is here, magnetic force. Proportional to G T. G is what? G is cap. L cap. L cap. The this. And and reversely proportional to. Oh yeah. Also proportional to T. T the thickness. Thickness of your your core. Thickness. It's the thickness of your core. And B is the uh, magnetic process of B. The B is a very often uh, unit we use to describe a magnet, right? One case of uh, one cause, uh, how large the magnetic uh, magnet, or uh, his strengths, we, we, in terms of the uh, magnetic property of the B. So the magnetic force is dependent with the displacement of the slider. In, uh, nothing to do with the displacement. So it means that in magnetic force, we have no actuation and replication back to the case in electrostatic. state. In electrostatic, we, electrostatic, we have the pull-in phenomenon. The electrostatic force, uh, the gap information will be over here. So, it's all over here. So you will see, getting smaller, the force getting larger. So you have the nonlinear effect, the pulling issue. But for the magnetic, no, no this kind of thing. So no pulling, unstable phenomena. So it, it means that there is no advantage for you to use the magnetic force in the micro scale. The people don't like to do the magnetic actuator in the men's area because no advantage, very less advantage you can create. Moreover, if you want to make the magnetic force larger, the only way you can do it is increase one. Increase the geometry uh, about your thickness. Try to make the core as thick as possible. So it means that you need to use the electrophobic or electroplating, electroplating technology to increase the thickness of your core. So electrophobic or electroplating is necessary for our magnetic actuators. But unfortunately, unfortunately, electrophobic or electroplating also not IC company compared. In IC company, they will not to use electroplating technology. To dirty, it is to dirty. It will cause a lot of problems about the contamination and pollution. So you can see uh, even the magnetic. But you'll see the IC compatible, no. Three dimensional coil, yes, but cannot be realized in two dimensional planar process, semiconductor, or in mass. So it's a problem. Uh, so, whatever we can discuss the case of magnetic actuator, of course, we can discuss it. But on, in, in the matter of the fact, in the matter of the fact, impossible to realize in our mass area and have a commercial application. So here, we just stop here, you can see, magnetic, no, no advantage. The final one, we need to study the inject, inject printer. Inject printer. Inject printer, we call it is a mass product. This is a mass product in that if you miniaturize the size, make the size smaller, has a good advantage on the application. Uh, the interpreter, uh, you can see, is a low cost 
personal color printer for everybody right now. So whatever the Canon or HP, they use the thermal bubble. Oh no, Canon use the thermal bubble in, in inject. Thermal bubble inject. Uh, thermal bubble inject technology. And the thermal bubble uh, here, we, we talk about here. It also belong to the thermal actuator. So, so for the thermal actuator, we have two kinds of thermal actuator. One is the engine, the, now in, in the one, one of the thermal actuator we mentioned above, Right, it's this kind of shape, right? This kind of shape can never be. They can do the lateral. They can do the lateral displacement. They use a buckle, you cannot. But here, about the thermal inject printer, their working medium is no more the solid here and here. They use ink. They use the ink. They hit the ink. Hit the ink. When hit the ink, and beyond their vibration point, so a fast change from the ink liquid will get it will change to vapor, water vapor, uh, in the ink container. So we say that the thermal bubble, or oh, thermal bubble will happen. Are you know, from liquid to gas. How uh, 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 about the volume change? Volume change is 1,000 times larger. Right? The one drop, one, one cc, one cc water here evaporate into water vapor will be equal to about 1,000 cc vapor in our space. So I mean that it increased the volume very much. Increase the volume very much. Now this kind of volume can, can be actually like a what? Like a pistol. Like a pistol to push the ink from the container outside and a small droplet. So it, it means a print. It's a color printing. Small drop in the ink, then put on the, ink, on the paper, you can do the printing. I can do the printing. So this kind of actuator we call it the thermal bubble. Right? Thermal bubble. Yeah, thermal bubble. Not the thermal buckling. Huh? It's thermal buckling. The thermal bubble is different. Thermal bubble is in the subject. Thermal bubble is for the liquid, working liquid. So, best change from liquid to gas, 1,009 volume increase. So, you can do the actuation very easy. You can do the actuation very easy. By the way, we have told, we told you thermal signal in the small scale is very fast. You can do the very high frequency. High frequency printing. High frequency printing. So in one second, you can write it. You can write it thousands of, or some hundred, thousands of points. Hundreds of points uh, about the thermal bubble. Using the thermal bubble principle. So this kind of principle is okay. It's good. So here, I discussed several cases of actuator. We only found that the three curves, I, I know it is the three star. We start mass visible and uh, not visible and also have good advantage in mass area, micro scale area. Other not exactly not exactly can be applied to mass, even applied, no apparent advantage. So working principle is over there. Working principle is over there. You can use that to for your actuation. But it is it is deserve for you to do that kind of actuation. We must consider if it I mean if the advantage is not enough, if not so much about advantage. 
why, 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 you, why you need to use that? So finally uh, here, we only focus on the three kinds of actuation for the micro actuation. One is the thermal buffer. One is the static cooling. Another one is the thermal buffer actuation. In the freezer. So only these three cases seems possible for our men's commercialization. For our men's commercialization. So here you actually have some commercialization. This is the printer, right? It's a in-check printer. Realize. So buckle, so buckle uh, sits not yet realized, but electrostatic cooling realized in DLP projected. I will give you a conclusion about the micro actuator. <coughs> Number one, it's very hard to incubate a new industry with the product of the micro actuator. Uh, DI DRB is just a very special case. You know, DI for spent 20 years to develop DRB projected. Of course, we earn money from that. We spend a lot of money during the whole process. Uh, DI is a very big, it's a, it's a semiconductor giant, very big company. So it can afford the risk to develop the main situation. But not for other small companies. Number one. So you are starting with the micro actuator. It should be considered very much about the detail visible. Is it feasible? If it's not feasible, don't take the risk. Even feasible, for example, some is feasible, but so far, no, no real, no product, real product can be generated actually. Number two, microactuator must be the integration of the microsensor. Oh, we have talked about this point. Microsensor, okay, you can, you can make and sell microsensor individually. For example, pressure sensor, you can sell pressure sensor individually. But how about the micro Microagitator, you must help help the micro to input some microsensor in advance inside the chip. Otherwise, very hard to identify your performance. Very hard to identify your performance. Hard to define, uh, hard to define it means that you don't know what it is. Or you don't know why, but it's something wrong. You need to try air on once again, once again, just waste your money. Only abuse and waste your money. So you'd better implement some microsensor inside the micro actuator. 
I mean, a sensor and actuator can work together for our specific application. Finally, in the full integration of sensor and actuator, we therefore can have the smart engineering system or high-end products called a paddle, a paddle, a paddle, interacting with the environment. So, in a conclusion matter, I want to use the jump that now for the uh, actuator. It's a very typical device we can make typical car. So, first, you know, for small companies, small startup companies, you have better developed the micro sensor and the first After successful, after you have some successful product, earn money, and then bring you to the actuator field. Otherwise, it's very, very easy uh, to get the value. Okay, so uh, we end up with this chapter. So we have 10 minute break, okay? 10 minute break, and uh, we are keep talking about the next chapter.